प्रॉब्लम नंबर सेवन फ्रॉम प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ प्लेन फर्स्ट स्टेप इज यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द शेप ऑफ द प्लेन वेर इट इज रेस्टिंग एंड हाउ इट इज रेस्टिंग सो यू कैन सी स्क्वायर स्क्वायर इज अ प्लेन शेप इज हेल्ड ऑन द कॉर्नर ऑन एच पी सो प्लेन इज रेस्टिंग ऑन द एच पी विथ इट्स कॉर्नर so you have to draw a, a square as a top view because it is resting on hp uh, with its corner so first of all you have to draw the corner here and uh, uh, to draw the corner all the lines are must be 45 degree incline with uh, the vp so let's draw the line first of all draw the vertical line and measure a distance at any point 45 degree and measure the distance of 50 mm that means 5 cm from both the corners like this now complete a square because this is the corner which we are talking about now we have to construct a square to construct a square simply uh, draw a parallel lines from the corner uh, edges which you have already drawn and complete your square so this is a square which is resting on hp at its corner so this point is a this point is b c and d now you have to draw the projections of it so this projection is already drawn b and d must be lies in a same line and point c complete a front view as a straight line give names to them a dash this is b dash d dash and this is c dash okay now or uh, for the second position they are not giving you the inclination angle with respect to hp but they have told you that hp such that the plan is seen as a rhombus so rhombus has a two sides La, uh, if we are talking about this as a rhombus rhombus has a two sides two uh, chord diagonals first is a shorter diagonal and second one is a longer diagonal so here the top view or a plan is look like a rhombus so if we have uh, consider the steps of the projection of plane you have to project this over here so you got your longer side this as a longer diagonal you just have to find out this and they have already given to you which is 40 mm so shorter diagonal short diagonal is a 40 mm so first of all just project all the lines from the initial position but we don't know the position of uh, d and a uh, over here so with that we need to find out so this is the projections and now uh, uh, just measure the distance anywhere anywhere over here uh, which is 40 mm so this distance is a 40 mm which gives you a shorter diagonal so this point is point a and this point is a c point we don't know the position of d and b over here so for that we just we are going to use this ac to construct this line 
so for that just using uh, means projections from the top view just draw the projections like this so this point is a a dash point now you have to find out c dash point over here so measure this distance measure this distance a dash c dash put pointer over here a dash and make an arc like this so this point is my c dash point this is a c dash point and complete a front view we also need bd b dash d dash also so you just have to measure this distance from a dash measure this distance over here so this point is your b dash d dash now you can transfer these points by using projections over here like this now you can got the intermediate points like b this is point b intersecting point so this point is your b point this is intersecting point and this point is a d point now you can join and you can see it will construct it is look like a rhombus so this is your intermediate position so you need to find out this angle so let's measure the angle so this angle is around 55 degree so this angle is 55 degree now at the end uh, final position the angle it the other diagonal the other diagonal that means the longer diagonal because we have already discussed about the 40 mm means a shorter diagonal the other diagonal is inclined at an angle of 45 degree with the vp so this angle this line is right now at an angle of 90 degree we have to make it a 45 degree so you can uh, uh, draw it like this also or this i'll choose this line so measure it uh, uh, like anywhere and measure this distance of 45 degree so this distance is 45 and draw a line at an angle of 45 degree now measure this distance to draw a a diagonal so if we are starting uh with this point let's say so from this to this this is your the diagonal so this point this is a d point and this is a b point and this angle is 45 degree now you need to find out a and c which is perpendicular to this so let's find out the perpendicular distance from this and at the midpoint at a midpoint so you have to find out a midpoint and a perpendicular so there are uh, different methods like the first method is you can measure this distance whatever the distance is let's say uh, it's a 7 7 cm so it gives you the 3.5 directly you can put a 3.5 over here and draw perpendicular line or you can draw it this method also because this is a you need to draw a perpendicular distance also so just make an arc both the sides like this so this gives you a perpendicular line as well as a midpoint line so this is also an accurate result this also you can do now you have to measure this distance ac which is 40 mm so 40 mm must be drawn from both the side so 20 20 mm you have to draw because it's a center point so 24 this side and 24 this side so now you can see this point is a point and this is a c point 
now join them So I will draw this uh, rhombus over here at an angle of 45 degree. To find out a front view, uh, you have to project all the points from the top view of final position. And draw the projections from intermediate positions as well and find out the intersecting point so let's find out point a this point is a dash b dash this is your c dash and this is your d dash now joint all of them So this is what you uh, see from the final position if the square is inclined with HP and VP both. So this is problem number 7.